see you guys. My name is Melanie. I do videos on things budgeting and money related. If that's something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button. Today, what I'm going to be doing is my budget for the first paycheck of May, which will be on May the 6th. Um, I don't have it on camera, but I am using my bill tracker and my spending plan that I did in the last video. Um, so I will be using it um, as a guide. But it is. Well, I guess I could set it over here. But, um, yeah. So some of them have been paid. Okay. So I'm going to start off with car. And that is two forty four. Actually I'm gonna switch over to this one. Okay, then we have rent which is sixty. And um just to explain what I am doing for with this budget. Um with this first check because it falls on this week, I'm paying all bills that are due these first two weeks of the month. The next check will be this third week, and I'll take care of these last two and whatever for the beginning of the next month. Um, okay, so rent, 60. Utilities. 50 of this has already been paid, so I'm actually going to do this 50 and the 75, which is 125. Bills is going to be the 120 and then subscriptions. Well, I don't have to do subscriptions because this week is already taken care of and that will be the next check. Okay, so after that, I do want to make sure I put something into Snowball. Savings and then investments. I did switch when I got the raise, and I have forty dollars going into my different investment accounts every check. Um, I think it's forty. I probably should be fifty, but I'm gonna say forty. I know that will take care of the first two weeks. Okay, so then, um. Snowball, I guess I'll do the 25 since that is the step that I'm on. And then savings, I'm just going to pick the 10. Because I have my $1,000 emergency fund, I just want to continue to build that up. I should be focusing only on baby step 2, but I just can't do that. Because I want to avoid going below the $1,000. So that gives me 624. So then I'm going to come down here to my main envelopes. And that is gas, groceries, household. I'm eating out. All me. Swings, KJ, and then spin. Okay, so I'm going to do my normal 50, 250, 25, 50, 50, 20, I think, 10, and 50. I think that's right. So 50, 250, 25, 50, 50, 20, 10. And then 50 gives me 505, which I think is the normal amount for those envelopes. Okay, so I do want to add these two up and see where I am. 1129, and that is still below um, my pay before the raise. Okay, so I can probably set this to the side now. And then I can think about my sinking funds. Okay. 
so I'm going to mainly focus on the main priorities because the girl's birthday is this month. So, health, I want to make sure I add something. Beauty isn't a necessity right now, and I have the stuff to do my own. Clothes isn't a necessity. I mean, it is, but um, we just use what I put in there, and I want to get that started again. Um, good time. Want to make sure I put something in car maintenance. And then road trip. And this road trip is, um, which I did just add a game day folder, so I may end up trying to build that up for this and then use this for a vacation or something. But this road trip here folder is what I'm going to be using to travel to my son's games, um, which um, football season won't start until August, September, or whenever that is. Alright, so... Um, then the next holidays coming up is Memorial Day. Then we have Father's Day. Well, Mother's Day is actually next, but that's this weekend, and um, it's already put in the envelope. Which I have to say, having the holiday binder and putting the money in there as the holidays come up or, or a little bit ahead has helped me with like not having to um, try to scramble to come up with the money at the last minute like usual. Um, the 4th of July. And then um, I think it's Labor Day but yeah, I can't go ahead and do a later day. Even if it's just a little bit. Okay. So then I want to I guess I'm gonna just put it down here in extra savings. I do want to do the seasonal activities. Um thinking I need to start school which I just ordered the picture so yeah because it's gonna be in August and then um the twins birthday is at the end of this month and then I want to build up KJ's birthday I have enough for there I think I have a hundred for mine so I'm good okay so Let's see here. So we're at 11.29. So help. I have some in there. I'm going to do five. 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 Work trip. I just used some. I need to get it back up. I'm going to do 20. Memorial Day is coming up this month. 20. Father's Day next month, 20. Fourth of July, um, I do 10. And then Labor Day, I will just put in 5. So let's see what we're at here. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 12, 24. So then seasonal activities, I want to go ahead and add 20. School 20, twins birthday 50, and then I'll add 10 to Casey's birthday. So let's see what we have here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 20, 20, 20, 2, 4, 6, 80, 95, Okay, then four, twenty, twenty, ten, and five, ninety-five, and then twenty, forty. That's a hundred. So I think I did end up going over that amount, but that's okay. That's just, I mean, it's just going towards cushion right now. 
and that's 1324 and then normally it's just $57 over and that's okay. Alright, so let me add these up again because I just, I can't remember. 95 plus 100, so that's a total of 1324 that we'll be getting budgeted out of this check. The rest will stay in the bank as a uh, um, cushion and or could possibly go towards savings challenges. Um, but we'll see how we'll, we'll see. But either way, that's the video for today. Don't forget to check the support watch list. And until the next time, have a good one and peace.